area of maximum intensity is the right transmit area. Second, whether it is systolic or diastolic. And this is done by making timing of the sound with the pulsation. In infants and small children, it is done by uh, making timing with the brachial pulsation. Brachial artery, you know its position, it's just medial to the tendon of the biceps muscle. Putting your fingers on the tendon, of, uh, sorry, on the um, brachial artery while you are listening to the murmur. And in all the children, because they have longer neck, you can make timing with the carotid pulsation. And any murmur that comes with the pulsation, it means this is systolic. If otherwise, it is diastolic. So systolic murmurs are coming with the pulsations, otherwise they are diastolic murmurs. Third thing about the murmur, you should know what is the grade of the murmur. In fact, we have six grades to describe the murmurs. Grade one and grade two are not very clear for you. They are not loud sounds, and sometimes it is difficult to be heard. Grade 3 murmur is very clear for you. You can hear it clearly. And when you put your palm on the precordium of the chest, you don't feel any throat. Grade 4 is also loud and clear to you but you feel thrill when you put your hand on the recording. And in grade 5, you can hear it even with the edge of the stethoscope. If you put the stethoscope like this, you can hear the murmur. No need to, even if you don't put it like this. If you put it like this with the edge of the stethoscope, you can hear the murmur. And the grade 6 murmur, it can be here even if the stethoscope off. You know, the stethoscope can be put on and off like this by turning it. Even if you make the stethoscope off and you put it on the chest, you can hear it. And even sometimes with your ear, if you bring it close to the chest, you can hear the muscle. So these are the six grades of murmur. And the grade of the murmur should be uh, uh, described by the medical student during uh, the case presentation. Another point uh, about uh, the murmur is description of the uh, quality of the murmur. Is it a blowing murmur, like when you are blow in a bustle? Is it rumbling murmur? Or uh, it has another quality? Some murmurs are systolic and diastolic. I mean, continues to throughout the systolic and diastolic phase, like murmur of PDA. We call it machinery murmur. It sounds like a machine when you enter a factory. So it has both systolic and diastolic components. Other points about uh, the murmur uh, may be not so important for you as medical students, but we have additional auscultatory areas when you find a murmur. So in addition to these four auscultatory areas, when you auscultate and find abnormal sound, I mean murmur, uh, you have to auscultate over the carotid arteries to check for any radiation of murmur to the carotid vessels. And this is here in the case of aortic stenosis. And also, you have to auscultate at the back between the scapula for cortation of aorta. If you do, if you do these things, uh, you are going to finish the auscultation of the cardiovascular system. Now, after finishing the auscultation of the heart, now you go back, I mean practically, you go back to the other steps of the examination of the cardiovascular system, which are similar to the examination of other systems, 
including general palpation, like examination of conjunctiva, examination of the nose, mouth, ears, neck for lymph nodes, examination of the hands, like for clubbing of fingers, uh, palms of the hands, and examination of the legs for leg edema. And then you go to the vital signs, like other systems, including uh, the pulse, temperature, respiratory rate, and growth parameters, including weight, height, and OFC.